So you're thinking about getting a new mountain bike, but you're having a hard time deciding which category bike is right for you. Well, I'm gonna help you through that today. I'm Diamondback team rider Eric Porter, and today we have the brand new Diamondback Yowie 5C, as well as the Release 5C. There's a lot of overlap between the two, but there's also a lot of differences. So let's get into it. We'll start out with the similarities. So these are both trail bikes. They're both gonna be really fun to ride on a huge variety of trails and any level of rider as well is gonna have a good time on these bikes. Both these bikes are built around Diamondback's Level Link suspension platform. So even though they're different travel, it's a similar theory in how they work. Part of what makes the Level Link suspension so good is the bottom link. So when that link is at sag, when you're sitting on the bike, it's parallel with your chain line. So as you're pedaling hard and you're pulling that back wheel in, your suspension isn't moving around like it does with other bikes. So it's a really efficient suspension platform no matter which one you pick. Both bikes have SRAM Eagle 1x12 drivetrains. So it's a really wide range 1x drivetrain. So there's no front derailleur, big to set in the rear. So you have everything from a 10 tooth at the bottom up to 52 tooth at the top. So you can climb anything as well as having gears when you wanna go hard, going fast. They both have Fox suspension front and back and the rear shock is the float DPS. So it has a three-way setting from open to trail mode to locked out for climbing. And the front suspension differs a little bit, but they're both Fox suspension and braking is the same between the two bikes. So we've got SRAM G2 brakes on 180 mil rotors. So that's gonna feel just as good either way you go. Uh, we also have similar cockpit setups. So nice wide bars, you can trim them down if you want to, and 35 millimeter stems by 35 mil clamp too. So they're nice and stiff, and then a really short reach. So quick handling, and that's the length stem I like on all my bikes anyway. Both bikes also come with E13 wheels, which are really strong, feel great when you're riding on the trail, and really durable. Now let's talk about the differences between these two bikes and what that means when you're on the trail. The Release 5C is something you may have seen in the lineup before, and this is a 27.5 inch wheel, and it's 130 mil rear travel, 150 mil front travel. Whereas the Yowie 5C is a 29 inch bike, and it comes with 110 millimeters of rear travel and 130 millimeters front. So you basically have smaller wheels and more travel this one has bigger wheels and less travel. So that means that the release is gonna handle bigger hits and the smaller wheels are gonna make it a bit more playful, easy to throw around, easy to jump, that sort of thing. The Yowie with the 29 inch wheels and less suspension is gonna be more efficient. It's gonna be faster rolling. When you stand up and sprint, you're really gonna take off. When you're climbing for hours, uh, big days in the saddle, you're really gonna love the efficiency of this bike. And it's still gonna be fun when the trail gets rough and you're kind of monster trucking over stuff because the bigger wheels will just kind of stay on top of things and keep you rolling. The Release 5C comes with much more aggressive tires front and back. And that's because this is meant to be monster trucking on trail. It can handle rock gardens. You can take it to the bike park and you can ride a lot more aggressive terrain when you're on this bike because it has a bit more travel front and back. So when you're landing hard, when you're hitting unexpected stuff, it'll soak that up a lot better. As well as the tires having uh, thicker sidewalls and just, again, a softer compound and more aggressive tread pattern. As you get into more aggressive features on the release, you're gonna love the tunability and support that you get from the Grip 2 damper on this Fox 36 4 cup front too. You can really set that to hold you up as you're hitting stuff and also be really supple on the small things. It's just more tunable, more adjustable, and it's the same fork that people are racing at the highest levels. The geometry on the release is different as well. So it's a 66 degree head angle, which means it's a little slacker. So that means when the trail gets steeper, the steering isn't twitchy. And maybe you pay for that a little bit on the climb, so the steering is a little bit slow if you're climbing all day. But that slack head angle is gonna make you 
have more confidence as you're riding aggressive trails, steeper trails, and that sort of thing. The 27 5 inch wheels are a bit smaller too, so it's more nimble. As you're riding the trail, you can kind of dart around a bit more, even though it has the slacker head angle. And it's easier to pull up into a manual, it's easier to bunny hop over things, and it's all around a bit more of a playful bike. So when you're jumping, you're doing tables, you're doing whips a little bit, the 27.5 inch wheels just feel, you know, a bit more like a BMX bike or a dirt jumper, just a little bit more playful. You're also able to get a shorter chainstay with a 27.5 inch wheel because there's less wheel moving up and down for the clearance of your seat tube and clearance of your seat. So that means as you lean back and you try to pop a wheelie or manuals or pulling up over rocks and logs and that sort of thing, it's gonna do that easier. Moving over to the Yowie, you'll notice right away that the tires on this bike are a lot less aggressive. They're smaller knobs and that's for a reason. So they're much faster rolling. So as you're riding a long trail, you'll just notice yourself carrying speed better. Uh, you know, the compromise there is that you don't get as much cornering traction and there's not as much meat there for when you're hitting hard square edge rocks and roots and things like that. But that's something that you're trading off for the sake of speed. And it's still a 29 by 2.4 up front. The back is 29 by 2.25. So it's really optimized for fast rolling, carrying speed and being efficient, which matches up well with the level of travel that we have here with the 130-110. The head tube angle on this bike is a little bit slacker. So that's a 67 degree head angle. And it's a nice balance between being nimble on the climbing uh, part of things because you're spending more time typically climbing on a bike like this, but it's also slack enough that you're still gonna have control and feel confident on the downhills with this bike. So it is it is still a really fun descending bike. The rear end has to be a little bit longer with the 29 inch wheel, but we still kept it as short as we could and tried to find that balance uh, to where Longer wheelbase does add stability to a bike, which is nice when you have less travel, but it's also still a fun, playful bike because this is kind of an all-arounder, really. Another thing you'll notice on this bike that I'm really excited about is a water bottle cage inside the front triangle. So the release still has a water bottle cage mount, but it's underneath the front triangle. Um, it's nice inside the triangle because it's easier to reach and it keeps it protected from things spraying off, off your front wheel. So we've covered the similarities and the differences between the Yowie and the Release, and you're probably still wondering, what does this all mean and which one's right for me? The answer for you really depends on what you like to ride. And if you're riding cross country and trail, but you really like to go hit some jumps, you like to go to the bike park, you like to play around, and speed is not your number one concern, you're not looking at racing, you just want a really fun all around bike that can kind of do anything, I would lean towards the release. If you really like riding trail, maybe occasionally jump into the cross country race. You don't jump a ton, but maybe you wanna jump every now and then, but speed and climbing and efficiency is what you're looking for. I would lean towards the Yowie. I've really ridden both bikes in pretty much every scenario, but if you have to choose one, is it speed and efficiency or is it kind of all around monster trucking, trail riding, doing a bit of everything. Hopefully this video helps you decide between the two bikes. I really do love both of them and ride both of them on a weekly basis. So the, the real answer is get both and have fun, but <laughs> that's not realistic for a lot of people. So head over to diamondback.com, check out all the different builds and price points so you can find one that fits you. They both go all the way up from the release or Yowie one up to the 5C. They both come with an aluminum frame or a carbon frame like the 5Cs. And there's something for everybody so that you can have a good time on the bike. Leave a comment below if you have more questions and we'll try to answer it and help guide you in the right direction or chat with customer service on Diamondback's website as well. We're here for you and really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you out on trail.